hello and welcome so I saw so in this review of rent a girlfriend episode 2 I gotta say this what the fuck what the fuck yo what the hell what the hell why 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 is the main character an ass why is he an ass I want to know the truth so episode 2 of Rent the girlfriend. All I gotta say is, what the fuck? Again, what the fuck is the main character doing? Now, watch this. Two minutes into the episode, we're not even that close, but two first two minutes, he finds out that she is not only living a double life, but she they, they live next door to each other. And I and let me get this. Let me just point. Let me put the elephant in the room here for a bit. The main girl, she's who. I know people are making so many memes out of her, and I get that, but it's time to clear the air. She she reminds me of one of those those Dojin books. I think it was Metamorphosis. It's one of that long series Dojin, one of the most popular Dojins of all, where the girl was all wearing glasses and all that, and then she transformed into a good-looking girl, and then she slept with her father, then she slept with the boys in the school, then she slept with a drug dealer, all that kind of thing, you know. And she reminds me of her. So I know that, I know that's crazy, but that's how people describe to her. But back to what I was saying about episode two. Main character is living the dumbest life as possible. I understand he's trying to impress his grandfather, I mean his grandmother. I understand he's trying to impress, I understand he's trying to impress his, uh, grand, his grandma. I understand he's trying to lie to his friends, saying that he's all that. But this guy needs to grow balls. He doesn't have a freaking pair what to do. And I'm thinking to myself, why is this guy not pulling his strings? So when he lied to his grandmother, when he lied to his grandmother, I mean, like, literally, his grandmother coming in, and you fucked up. The main character is fucking up in so many different ways as possible in this episode. It makes me want to punch him in the face. Makes me want to punch him in the face. Now, I get it. Everybody hates him right now because he's making these dumb excuses. He's making these, these dumb choices. But I understand. Back, now, I understand. I'm trying to do my very, very best not to... But spoil anybody from the manga perspective. Because I know that people from the manga who read it understand where he's getting a pair from. Now, I get it. I get it. He doesn't have balls. He doesn't have the courage. He doesn't have the bravery to step up to the game. But trust me. I, I Like I said, y'all gonna hate him. But somewhere down the line, y'all gonna like him. Trust me. But right now, he just, right now, he just, like, stupid. He's so fucking stupid, he can't even uh, tell his grandmother, like, oh, Chizu is not my girlfriend, she's a rental girlfriend. But I understand what Chizu, I understand what her, his grandmother, grandmother's very nice, and I'm, I'm starting to like her. Since, since the manga, she is very, very nice. But like I said, I understand why his, why his grandmother really wants him to get up to have a girlfriend because all the time they hang out with the boys. I get that. And I don't, and I, I understand that Chizu is. is being the the, the 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 toge of the group, the tsundere type, and I get that. And they and there's so many hints that the grandmother hinted in this episode makes them want to ship. It makes them want to ship. And if they get to that episode, which I know they will, and which I hope so, that is gonna be the equivalent of why they ship. This is why the shipping is there. Now, now, and then they made a bet. They made a bet that they're gonna. See each other every Wednesday for her, the grandmother, because her grandmother's very nice. She want to see her every Wednesday, <coughs> every hour. And not been the plan. But, yo, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? This main character is, I don't know why do we have to see him jerking over with the, with his tish, with the tissue. I don't know why, I'm dead ass. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why he has to do with the tissues so much. We've seen him doing it twice. We've seen him doing it with the tissues twice. And it irritates me. I'm like, this ain't school days. This ain't school days where the main character has a bucket full of tissues. Come on. Why do we got to see him jerk? Like, when he's breathing, like heavy breathing. Like, <sighs> why? Why? I'm just, I don't get it. Why? It, I understand people hating him, but come on. And he's still thinking about mommy and Speaking of that thought, think, and speaking of that blonde hair thought, let me say this. The reason she, out of all the four girls, the four main girls of Rent the Girlfriend, she is without a doubt 
the trashiest, least favorite girl and rent a girlfriend. In fact, I hate her so much, she's on that same level as the lady from Scum's Wish, and she's on the most hated level female wise, most hated character like from mine from Rising of the Shield Hero. And I hate that bitch still. And she's on that level. Every time I see this blonde hair ex-girlfriend bitch, I literally wanna punch her right in the fucking face. But I don't know what makes him think he still has feelings for her. One look at her thighs, I'm gonna jerk off. Like what what the fuck? What the fuck? And she has that demonic, de demon eye eyes thing. Like, when her friends make fun of her, here she turns around, she turns out that, that yandere eyes, that yandere eyes, and said, oh, she goes in that yandere eyes, and I can't stand that bitch. And what's worse is, they go to a bar, I mean, they go to a karaoke bar, well, not a karaoke bar, they go to like a, a bar, you know, just chill out. And then they meet, not only, not only he has to pretend that his girlfriend is, Jesus was with them as a rental girlfriend, girlfriend mode, but also going to a bar with their ex. So now the main character is in like a rock and a hard place. He's like, okay, I'm like, you got your rental girlfriend here, and then you got your ex. And the ex girlfriend, she's a fucking bitch still. She, she literally, she literally, uh, this is, this is pretend. I don't think she was drunk. She just let out everything about all the embarrassment moments that she, that she was with him. She's like, oh, we with my ex, we kiss, and all that stuff. She was sending so much embarrassing moments to him. I hate, I hate that. But still, still, just, this girl, I want to let, really want to punch her. And I know some of y'all felt the same way when y'all see this thought. Y'all want to hit her. And she tried, and I'm like, but I, I just don't. I, <sighs> But she's a, she defended herself. She defended, she defended uh, Kazuya, even though even though they're not together. But she can't stand people treating him like garbage. But at the end, though, why, 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 why the main character? Not only he don't even look drunk, but why the fuck did he the ex mommy? Uh, what's his, what's her name again? Yeah, mommy, the black hair. I mean, sorry, the blonde hair girl, telling her that. Sorry, the ex telling him, oh, oh, I'm close by, and you end it like that. What the fuck, yo? This main character, I I get why people hating him. He's making these dumb choices. You have a good looking girl coming to you, but you still like this thought of an ex. Why are you making these fucking dumbass choices? You're pissing me off with this guy. You're pissing me off. Now, I get it. We hate him because he's doing all these dumb choices. I get that. However, however, I'm not trying to spoil as much. I'm not going to spoil. But what I can tell you is this. Did he grow a pair later as long? Yes. People right now, I'm trying not to spoil as much. But he will grow. He will. He will have some development. Let me just say that clearly. He will have some development. He may not be sometime around, but he will if they keep it up. But like I said, this guy is just. But from an anime standpoint, not manga wise, I'm trying to separate myself. But from an anime wise, this main character is literally the, the stupidest motherfucker I've ever seen. He keeps. He trying to make peace. With his grandma, trying to pretend to be a uh, ex, you to be a rental girlfriend just for Wednesdays. And you may, and then you, and then your ex is there, and you still have feelings for your ex, and you still think of many thoughtful sexual ways to be with your ex to the point when you want to jerk off. And then, and then, and not only that, just because you look at her, her body, yeah, you want to jerk off. I'm like, why? I don't get it. Why she dumped your sorry ass? Go out with another girl, but you still have feelings for your ex, and I'm still getting mad about that. Like, come on, man, she's a thought. That's seeing her, seeing it, seeing this guy's ex girlfriend is like, who want to date mine from Rising of the Shield Hero? And still, I don't. And still, I've been to conventions a lot, and I still haven't found out one person who said, "Oh, I like mine from Rising of the Shield Hero. I like Bitch Senpai. I like." Her. I have not seen one person on that on. Many times I hear seen. I have not seen one person say, I, I like her. But whoever likes this blonde hair girl, you guys need to switch sides. I'm trying to save you guys. Please switch girls. She's a bitch. I don't know why you like her. 
it makes me arrogant, mad to see to see him thinking about her. But he gotta move on. He needs to grow a pair and move on. And next week is gonna be that moment where I'm like, and I, I know where this episode's going to. I know where this episode's going to. So I hope they keep. I just hope they follow from the manga because he's 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 gonna change somehow. Whew. There, I feel better. See, I see. I th thank you. So thank you, thank you. So ep what we got from episode two was the confrontation between the main character, the ex, and and the rental girlfriend we see some shipping lines coming in the in the prey and then and then later later on when we see a new a new girl coming in rest assured you it's gonna be everyone's favorite but right now whoever liked this blonde hair thought girl shame on you she's a bitch i'm trying not to go into the depth of the from the manga but you guys get where i'm coming from sure sure everybody hates the main character i hate him too but trust me like i said before and i'll say it again he's gonna develop some time so let's let's hope they get to that. So thank you for watching episode two of Rent a Girlfriend. I look forward for episode three because episode three is the beach scene, and I know what's gonna happen. And I'm not gonna spoil it as much for the manga, but I look forward to that because it's getting there. So thank you for watching. I look forward for next week's episode. Mm -hmm.